Hi, I'm Tom Hansik. I'm a technical director on Unchained's custody support team. And today I'm going to be taking you through how to manage UTXOs for an Unchained vault. If you're unfamiliar with what a UTXO is, we've already done some videos on that, which you can find on our YouTube channel. In short, a UTXO is just a chunk of Bitcoin that you've received to one of your vault addresses. And if you've done a lot of transactions, if you've received a lot of deposits, you can build up a lot of UTXOs in your vault. Um, if you go to withdraw your Bitcoin in the future, the more UTXOs you have, the more data you're going to be moving, and that's going to result in higher transaction fees. So to help protect yourself from transaction fees, you want to be mindful about limiting the number of UTXOs in your vault. Now, you can do this a couple of ways. One way is to uh, control your deposit frequency and, and deposit less frequently to your vault. Another way is called a UTXO consolidation. And what that is, is grabbing the UTXOs you already have in your vault and grouping them together, bundling them up so that you now just have one UTXO, which is just the combination of the UTXOs that you had before. And I'm going to show you how to do that here today. So uh, one thing to keep in mind is that if you're going to perform a UTXO consolidation, you're going to want to try to do it when fee rates are relatively low. That's what's going to save you money. So to see what the current network fee rates are, a good place to go is a website called mempool.space. Right on the home screen, there's a transaction fees area. And this is going to show you what the current network fees are. You're going to want to keep an eye on this and time your consolidation when fees are relatively low. So now I'm going to take you to the Unchained platform. I'm here on the dashboard of a demonstration account. And I'm on the home screen, but I'm going to start by going into this vault here. Now you can see this vault already has some Bitcoin in it. It's received several deposits already. Um, if I want to see the UTXO situation for this vault, I'm going to go to the top here where it says View Details and click there. This gives me a pop-up with some detailed information about what's in my vault right now. So it shows me how many different addresses this vault has, has used to receive Bitcoin. In this case, there are six of them. It also shows me how many UTXOs I have in my vault, in this case, 30. So uh, it even shows me how many UTXOs are on each address. So at the top here, this address is holding 16 UTXOs. That means it's been reused to receive Bitcoin 16 times. Uh, there's also this address here with two UTXOs. This one has seven. There's a couple here that have just one UTXO on them. And since I have 30 UTXOs, that's potentially a good opportunity to do a UTXO consolidation. So I'm going to close the balance details here. If I want to perform a consolidation and just consolidate all my UTXOs into one, I'm going to start by hitting deposit. So this shows me a deposit address, my next unused deposit address. I'm going to start off by copying this. And then I'm going to close this pop-up and hit withdraw. So now it's asking me, where do I want to send Bitcoin? This is where I'm going to paste in that address that I copied. And we get a little message beneath the address that says address associated with current vault. So that's what we want, actually. We're not sending any Bitcoin outside of the vault. We're just moving Bitcoin from the addresses that the Bitcoin is currently on. And we're sending them to this new address. That's what a UTXO consolidation is all about. Taking those UTXOs and creating a new one at the new address. So this is, this is perfect. I'm going to hit next. Now it's asking me how much Bitcoin am I moving. So if I am consolidating all of my UTXOs, I'm just going to hit the max withdrawal up here. That's going to grab everything. Then I could choose my fee rate, hit next, and you know sign with my keys and broadcast the transaction. That would complete the UTXO consolidation. So now that I've shown you how to do a full UTXO consolidation within your vault, what if you don't want to consolidate all of your UTXOs? What if you want to just consolidate a specific number of your UTXOs or spend a specific uh, number of your UTXOs? You can do that. So. A lot of times, if you have a lot of UTXOs, your hardware wallet is going to struggle to sign uh, the transaction that's consolidating all of them. So you may want to break your consolidation up into a few smaller transactions. There can also be privacy reasons that you might want to spend specific UTXOs and not others. 
This is called UTXO selection or coin selection. And this is an advanced feature that's not yet available in the Unchained platform itself, but you can definitely still do it. You just need to load your Unchained vault into an external coordinator, such as Caravan or Sparrow Wallet. So to do that, if you're on your Unchained vault, you would need to go down to Vault Tools, and you're gonna see Wallet Configuration File. You can hit View next to that. This gives you the data that you need in order to import your vault into one of those external coordinators. So you can download this file, um, and then we're gonna go over to caravanmultisig.com, and I'm gonna show you how to actually do that UTXO selection. So I've already loaded up my vault using the wallet configuration file in Caravan here. And you can see the vault balance is of course the same. I'm also shown a lot of the similar details we saw earlier about my addresses and my UTXOs. I can see here that I have six addresses and how many UTXOs are on each. So again, let's say I wanna spend specific UTXOs uh, and consolidate those. I'm gonna start by hitting receive. Here I have a fresh deposit address, so I'm gonna copy that. Then I'm gonna hit send over here on the right. And just like before, you're just sending your Bitcoin back to yourself, so that's why I copied that receive address. And for the destination, that's what I'm going to paste in here. If I wanna get granular with my UTXO selection, I'm gonna hit manual over here on the right side. And I am shown, again, those details of the six addresses and how many UTXOs are on each. But now I've got these check boxes which allow me to select specifically what Bitcoin I am trying to spend. So for example, I've got this address at the top with three UTXOs on it. Maybe I wanna spend all three of those UTXOs. I can just hit this checkbox here, and that means I'm going to be spending all of the Bitcoin that's on that address. I've also got another address down here that has seven UTXOs. Maybe I wanna spend some of those seven, but not all of them. So I click the drop down here on the address, I've got these seven UTXOs, and I could pick specific ones with these checkboxes here. So what I've done so far is choose four UTXOs uh, from this address that held seven. I've also still got selected the three UTXOs from this address. If I scroll down here to the bottom, this is where I am filling out the uh, transaction details. So I could choose my fee rate here, Oftentimes you're gonna see a gray circle on the right with a plus sign or a minus sign. When you see that, you can go ahead and click on it. That's gonna do the math for you to make the transaction uh, add up properly and balance out so that it is prepared for signing. So now that I've done that, it has put in my fees and everything. At this point, I could hit preview transaction and then I would use my keys to sign it and broadcast it. So that is how you can consolidate specific UTXOs in your vault. You can use the same technique if you're spending specific UTXOs to an external location. If you ever have any questions about UTXO management, how to select your UTXOs, how to consolidate them, feel free to reach out to Unchain. We're always happy to help. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.